I guess going into the race, you never know exactly uh, how you're going to react, I guess, when the pressure comes on and in difficult situations, and you can't get much more difficult situations than being in the Southern Ocean in tough conditions like that. So, no, I, I think you learn a lot as a person. Uh, you learn a lot operating in a team environment and, you know, seeing how each and everyone um, responds differently to that sort of pressure. So, no, it was a, I think you learned the whole way to the end of the race, and I certainly feel like a much more well-rounded sailor now from doing the race, and definitely, I think, person as well. Yeah, I think the race has changed, uh, and it's how it's gone about over the years. What hasn't changed is that you still go around the world, and you are still out there in nature and the elements, so that'll never change, and you'll always be pushed no matter what boat you're on, no matter how many boats you're racing against. You, it's still a combination between adventure and uh, competition and I think you know these new boats and their market class is obviously going to be a bit more technology and you're going to have to push harder to try and have a fast boat but you're, you're still going to be out there and you're still going to have to get from A to B faster than someone else so uh, no it's going to be an awesome race I think. With less people on board there you're going to have to have a more well-rounded sailors. Uh, each person on board is going to have to be able to do the majority of the roles. You're not going to be able to have people that were uh, specific for a bowman or a helmsman or something like that. Um, so I think, and as far as, you know, I don't think you can push much harder than we pushed last time in the race. There's not much you can do more uh, physically, I don't think, for a human. So, uh, you know, we'll just have to wait and see how that is, but there will be bigger speed differences next time. Um, so you get, there's going to be more onus on having a fast boat at the start of the race. Yeah, New Zealand has an amazing history in the ocean race. It's, you know, something that us growing up, you've always followed it, and Kiwis with the America's Cup supporters, uh, Olympic sailor, they have all, all know about the ocean race, and. Um, and how it pushes you like nothing else. So for sure going forward it would be great to have a, a Kiwi entry or two in the race and uh, you know having that stop coming to, to Auckland is, um, you know lights up the city and I think all the sailors and the, all the shore support will enjoy going to Auckland as well. It's one of the best stops. <laughs> now yeah we both have an eye on the next race for sure. I think when we finished the last race, we um, definitely had unfinished business. It was a pretty brutal finish for both of us. Um, and yeah, we'd love to go back and, and try and win the race. And if we could um, do that for a Kiwi team, that'd, that'd be pretty awesome. So yeah, there's a lot to get to that point. We've got a lot in front of us already and on our plate. But um, you know, that's definitely the goal.